everyone, my name is Allison Morgenthal and I'm the Plant Safety Manager here at Hyperwix Industries. I'm going to show you a new system that we put in place that's keeping our employees safe. My life used to consist of filling out multiple accident reports a week. And because my coworkers are the most critical asset we have here on our plant, I didn't feel like I was adequately protecting them during their jobs. The International Labor Organization says that there are over 300 million occupational accidents every year worldwide, costing employers a combined $170 billion. According to OSHA, each workplace injury will cost employers $120,000. Are these accidents really preventable? It's not the very definition of an accident that you can't predict or prevent it. Well, it turns out at our facility, we're doing just that. I never fully realized how much of what we do here can be automated. The new AI and machine learning system that we've installed can detect new threats and ensure worker compliance. This allows for our safety supervisors to take corrective action before an accident occurs. Our plant used to rely on employee badges to track movement, but that didn't prevent someone from borrowing a fellow employee's badge or tailgating behind a fellow employee to get into an area that they weren't allowed in. Now, with the rich data we collect from the closed circuit cameras like the one you see here, our system can detect me, my access rights, and my movements. It can even tell if I have the right training to be in the area that I am and if I'm wearing the right personal protective equipment or PPE. It can even send me a nudge to my smartwatch or my phone to tell me that I'm not compliant with the PPE that I'm in. Let's take a look at the conveyor belt where my coworker Josh is doing some maintenance so we can see this capability in action. The conveyor belt has an open chain on the side of the system near me that's normally covered because of this, we've added a safety hazard box outlined here in red on the floor to prevent anyone from coming too close to this open chain. If someone steps into this box while the system's on, it'll turn off the conveyor belt. Let's see this in action. As you can see, when Josh stepped into the red box, the system turned off. Even a really experienced employee like Josh might forget to turn off the conveyor belt before stepping into the area to do work, and this will keep him and anyone else in the area at the time safe. Some of the other things you can see being picked up on the system are the personal protective equipment, or PPE, that Josh and I are wearing. To work on the conveyor belt, you have to be wearing a hard hat, a vest, and gloves. You can see Josh's head is highlighted in green from the hard hat, and when he takes it off, his head gets highlighted in red. He even gets that nudge to his watch, telling him that he's not compliant anymore. His body is highlighted in green from the safety vest that he's wearing as well. And if we look at his hands, we can see that the system can even pick up different colored gloves. To work on the conveyor belt, you need the red type of safety glove, which he has on his right hand, highlighted with the green box indicating it's safe. On his left hand, he has a black glove, which is not the correct type of glove to be working here, and it's highlighted in red. The system is still picking up that it's a glove, which we can see on the screen, but it knows it's the incorrect glove, and so is highlighting that. Let's look at the dashboard behind Josh over here. There's a couple numbers that I want to point out to you. On the left side of the screen, we have the number of PPE violations we've had over time, as well as the number of open PPE violations I have to review. On the right side of the screen, we have a time series graph indicating the number of PPE violations over the selected time frame. This allows me to identify some trends. Let's say, for example, my coworkers frequently forget their PPE towards the end of their shift. I can identify this in this graph and send out extra nudges before that time so that way they're compliant throughout the entire workday. The bottom section has an itemized list of all the PPE violations and it's accompanied with a picture, which we can see here demonstrating what the PPE violation is. In this case, it's Josh not wearing his hard hat and he's highlighted in red indicating that he's not compliant with this area. The use cases that we've demonstrated today fall into two different categories. Safety, which we demonstrated with the conveyor belt and our red safety hazard box, with Josh stepping into it, turning it off, as well as situational awareness, which we've demonstrated with the PPE and the facial recognition required to know someone's safety clearance. There's three other categories of use cases that we are using at other places in our facility that I want to talk about as well. The first is security. We have the system set up at entrances along the perimeter and at other high security areas. This allows us to be notified if there are any security breaches so that way we can take corrective action. The second is inspection. We actually use this in our plant. The system can inspect different products coming off the line to make sure it has the quality and quantity that we expect so that way we are make sure we're delivering high quality product to our clients. 
The last is productivity. We also use this on different conveyor belts in our plant. We can track different metrics, such as the speed the conveyor belt's running, the amount of product on the line at a time, and the number of employees assigned to work the conveyor belt. We can use all of these metrics to optimize our productivity. This system is being used worldwide at companies like Heineken, Novo Nordis, Xerox, Tata Power Solar, and more. With over 150 use cases, the possibilities are really endless. Thank you so much for joining us today and allowing us to demonstrate the visual AI capabilities that we have. Spark Cognition. AI perfected for business.